o Ginga. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, for the opportunity. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank my chairman of Energy Committee, uh, Senator Matinga, for bringing this very, very important motion. May, Mr. Speaker, this motion is important because it affects our youth. The youth is the, are the future of this country. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, when you have issues which are actually making the youth go into the abyss, you make the youth almost uh, go bankrupt, Mr. Speaker, you are ruining the future of our country, not of, only of the youth. Mr. Speaker, I know that interest rates in this country are very high. And the reason why interest rates are high is because the government is also borrowing from the market. The government is borrowing at very high interest rates. The CBR rates now, where, which the government uses uh, to borrow uh, money from the money market, from the local market here, is 14, 15%. Mr. Speaker, it is more attractive for this, the banks, the microfinance institutions to buy those treasury bonds and treasury bills comfortably because it is more secure than lending money to border borders and lending money to ordinary business people. That is why there is scarcity of money to lend. Now, when there is scarcity of money to lend, the banks and microfinance institutions lend it at very high interest rates. They put very high interest rates because they don't care. They know that they still make their money, whether they lend out the monies or not, because they are very comfortable in the treasury uh, bill rates, which they are paid comfortably because it is more than uh, guaranteed, because it is government um, uh, bonds. Mr. Speaker, this ruins our youth. If you look at the newspapers, Mr. Speaker, you will see, if you take the nation, you take the standard, you will see the advertisement. The advertisement. These people called auctioneers are in a field day. Mr. Speaker, these people are in a field day. I think that business called auctioning has become so lucrative that, Mr. Speaker, I think I would earn more money there than being a senator. Mr. Speaker, yeah, because otherwise, why are there so many auctioneers? Uh, 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 and uh, the, the, the newspapers are full of those adverts, Mr. Speaker, on a daily basis. Mr. Speaker, these are Kenyans who are big, being auctioned. And I can tell you, Mr. Speaker, there are people here who are very comfortable. They talk politics. They talk about auctioning because it is politics. But, Mr. Speaker, I can tell you that personally, I have an experience of being auctioned. Mr. Speaker, it is a very, very thrilling, it is a very, very bad experience. Because you have a dream. When you are buying a motorbike, you have a dream that you want to buy one, then you want to multiply it. You want to be, you, everybody wants to have something. You want to be comfortable. You want to be able to educate your children comfortably. You want to be able to take three square meals a day. You want to, but Mr. Speaker, when you see that investment of yours, going sometimes into the air, into the thin, disappearing. Senator, Mr. Speaker. Senator Oburu, I will interrupt you because uh, it's already one o'clock. When we resume this debate, you will have a balance of 11 minutes uh, to contribute to this motion. Thank you, Mrs. Honorable Senators, it is now 1 p.m., time to adjourn the Senate. The Senate therefore stands adjourned until today, Wednesday, 1st November 2023, at 2.30 p.m. Na mtazamaji kimekuwa kikao cha asubuhi cha bunge la seneti aliendesha kikao hapo mwanzo alikuwa speaker mheshimiwa Amazon Kingi nikirejelea tu mawili matatu kuhusu kikao chenyewe tuliwatarajia mawaziri watatu wawili walifika 
Waziri wa Afya Susan Nahumicha alikuwa wa kwanza naye alikabiliana na maswali kutoka kwa Senator James Mbugua, Senator Dr. Halware na pia kulikuwa na maswali ya ziada 